So here we are at the body shop and uh, we're looking at the early Land Rover 90 here that you might have seen in a couple of the other vlogs I've done. Now I've got the wing front here and you can see uh, the repair that's been done. Now if you scroll back to some of the other videos you'll see that was quite badly damaged and the guys have done a really nice job of reshaping that. And what's important to remember is this area is actually covered up by a plastic trim so although they've done their best and made it a really nice job and you can't really tell it's been done at all um, it will be finished it will be sort of neatened up by the trim so the repair panel is in place as you can see um, the guys have welded that in place and then they've actually ground back the welds to make it nice and smooth before putting filler in there just to try and make the, the, the whole repair invisible and they feathered it off really nicely going towards that um, hinge plate for the, the bonnet um, well, we mentioned before sometimes that can look flush but the guys have feathered it down nicely so it you know, really looks very subtle and you wouldn't know unless you know you're watching this video and you're seeing that it's been done I very much doubt you'd know that it's had a repair panel put on it as I mentioned before it's had a lot of use and the guys are going to wrap to this with quite a thick um, layer of the Raptor so you can obviously thin Raptor out and as I said before we use the Raptor on some of the outside of the vehicles thinned out with thinner to give it a nice smooth finish like an eggshell finish but this vehicle needs some protection so the load space is going to have a raw Raptor thrown on it in quite in quite a thick um, in quite a thick way we use a Schultz gun to do that to make sure it's got good coverage um, now the customer wants to have some finish on here like teak decking that you'd get on a yacht and he's found a company that can actually provide that in an artificial vinyl covering now we quite like the idea of that and it's going to look fantastic but we have to make sure that the floor is suitable and there's no point filling a load space floor with filler because it's just going to crack and chip and everything you've got so much in there so we'll put the raptor in we'll see what that looks like and if he wants to have that covering we may have to look at putting some dynamat or something in there just to sort of give it a nice flat surface to work on so we're in the uh, little paint mixing area now and the guys have mixed up the raptor so you can see here we're using the tintable raptor uh to show you there and what we do is we're going to we've added the hardener so the, the raptor's filled up to this line here We've topped it up with hardener, and then we've topped that up with the, uh, the color that we're tinting with, the uh, Grasmere Green. And you can see there that there's the Raptor, and that's mixed up. And there's our two pack. So if we were trying to paint uh, with Raptor on a very contrasting color, so say we had a vehicle in that was black, and the customer wanted it to be done in like a sand colour, we would more than likely do uh, an initial coat in two-pack first just to give it some base colour before we put the, the uh, tintable wrapper on top just to make sure we've got a nice even coverage. But because the vehicle's already in like a sort of dirty brown and we're doing it in a sort of dirty green, it's going to be okay and we should be able to get good coverage anyway, so we'll go for that. all that's been done so that's nearly the entire cab area just a little bit on this footwell left to do but that's just one bottle of Raptor so two maybe three are going to be all you need to do the full interior on a 90 which is pretty cool So that's two bottles down and we've done most of the truck, we've just got the floor bed to do now. The guys have got four, uh, I think they are going to use them because we want to make sure we've got a lot of coverage on that actual load space. Now even if it's going to be covered in something, we want it to be durable so that's why they're going to go all out and use all four. Really pleased, it's gone on beautifully, it looks great, we'll let it cure now. Interestingly, this product takes a whole week to cure for use, in other words, you know, for hard wear and tear, but it's touch dry within a couple of hours. So um, even though we've done it in the booth, you don't need to do it in the booth, you could do it outside. Um, it's it doesn't at, it doesn't atomize, so you don't really need any specialist equipment to throw it on because it's quite heavy. 
Um, so it's something you guys could definitely do at home if you've got a compressor. It's an easy job and it's, uh, it's a real result. So, hope you enjoyed the little uh, catch up on this Land Rover 90. Come back in a few days time. Please subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss anything and we'll see you soon.